today is all about, let me make sure I got my 70s sides going here. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go, sweet. Look like I'm ready to get on there. Season four of Stranger Things with this haircut here. All right, so guess what? We're gonna be seated the whole day today. This is all about core control. I do want you to start wiggling those legs out, wiggling those arms out. Ugh, make sure your joints feel good. How was your weekend? How was your every single day is kind of the same? Reach up on the left side, pull it right back down. Hold on to the cross legs, reach up on the right side, twist over, pull it right back down. I've had some requests to spend more time warming up and since I know I can't make horses drink water, I will uh, be leading it. So here we go. Uh, so we're seated Indian style, um, crisscross applesauce, grab shin with four, uh, grab shin with uh, opposite arm and reach up and twist. It's a nice rotation, nice length through the spine. Switch hands, reach and twist. How was everyone's weekend? Hit me up in the comments if you're not actually warming up. Uh, I hope you had a good one. Two more times. Uh, I had a pretty good one, went on a nice long run. Uh, and spent some time with some friends, played some video games, spent some time with my family. Um, just, you know, staying hooked up uh, digitally. All right, so let's flex and uh, extend, flex and extend, flex and extend, flex and extend, flex and extend. Five more times, four more times. Got some sweet sun rays coming in. Good morning. Three, two, one. Excellent, good. Now what we're gonna do is I want you to take your feet. Remember, no shoes required today. You're gonna take your feet and we're gonna do uh, the beginnings of what's called a shin box, okie dokie. So the shin box, you're going to lay your shins down over to one side. I've got my left foot here, um, I'm sorry, my left knee here, left shin, right knee, right shin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean back and kind of favor this right shoulder and immediately I'm gonna feel a nice big stretch right here along the femur of my right leg. And then I'm going to isolate the right leg and bring it open, 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 open as far as I can. Then I'm going to follow suit with left leg, open, 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 and close to the other side. Now we're pulling back with our left side. Ah, nice long line from left shoulder to left hip to left knee. Three, two, one, open it up again. We're gonna do this about three times and close it. You don't want to just like throw your legs around because that's not going to stretch the legs at the range that they need to be stretched, if that makes sense. Open, 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 open. Close, close, close. You always want to keep the trunks of the trees here at uh, torqued up, right? Not torqued up, torqued up. Torqued up meaning on stretch, under a twisting load. Open, 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 and right back down, okay? So those that is a very, very basic shin box. Um, now, let's move into our first movement today. Um, I'm gonna show several variations. It's just a bridge. Here's what I don't wanna see. Oh, I'm not gonna see anything. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to just start blasting your hips up towards the sky. Why? It's ineffective. Secondly, it looks ridiculous. Thirdly, it looks ridiculous. But you do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying this is going to be the most effective thing uh, uh, for you to spend your time doing. So a bridge, a just basic run-of-the-mill white bread, vanilla pudding bridge, you're going to, and you can go ahead, if you know how to bridge, go ahead and start bridging. You can do any variation. You can do a tabletop. You can go all the way up to B-Boy if you want. But I'm going to take some time here, and I'm going to walk through what a bridge should look like. So we're going to tuck our tailbone, squeeze into the ground with our feet. Once again, check out that Raptor Feet video. Squeeze into the ground with our feet, and we're going to push, 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 push all the way up, right? And now what I'm doing is I'm pushing up as, as high as I can on, on the topmost vertebrae, not your neck, but your shoulder blades. And then when you step back down, you're going down one vertebrae at a ton. And right here, when your low back wants to just skip and just go to the tailbone, that's the most important part. So your uh, lumbar spine, one, two, three, four, five, boom, onto the sacral spine. Okay, so bring it right back up, engage pelvic floor, wrap your feet into the ground, hips, 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 drive, drive, drive. 
Now, it can be so tempting to just drop, but it is not what I want you to do. This is where the brain-body connection has the most potential to do good for you, physiologically speaking. Boom, let it down, one vertebra at a time. Like, you're, like you've picked up a piece, come on up. Like you've picked up a piece of paper at one edge and you're just laying it back down the exact same way that it came up, if that makes sense. Now, if this is too easy for you, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to boop, ask you to kick a leg straight up. I wanna show a couple variations here so that you can all work to your own capacity. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. This is one of those slow and smooth and smooth as fast things. You do not have to do this quickly for it to be effective. Down, 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 down. Let's go one more time. Then we're going to switch sides. If you're, if you're doing single leg with me, if you're doing your regular old bridge, that's totally fine. That's what you need to do. So let's grip in with the toes. Wrap your feet. Hip, engage pelvic floor. Hips come up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Four more, just like that. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Three more. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Two to go. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. One more time. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Right? Just like that. Okie dokie. So, we got Swayze's next. Boom. Stranger Things hair. Full 80s today. Swayze's look like this. So, if you need to just, so I'm going to show a base level, right? If you, and keep myself in shot here. So if you need to, if this is all you've got where you're seated on your side and your knees are bent, safe, that's fine, that's totally fine. All I want you to do is here, okay? You've got a side plank from your knees. Now if that gets boring, and if you know what Swayze's are, you go right ahead. If you've joined us before, here's what a full Patrick Swayze looks like. You're on your elbows, you're up in a side plank, you're gonna reach underneath, you're gonna reach above, you're gonna tap down, you're gonna to return to neutral. That's your base level, right? Or I'm sorry, that's the, that's the main exercise. I'm gonna show a few variations here. So, here's, here's what I want you to try. If, if you need to build the components of that movement, bring it up, glutes nice and tight, and then right back down, that's it. Make sure your shoulders externally rotated, externally rotated, rotated out and right back down. Keep pulling that shoulder blade back on the, the, the side of the um, mounted shoulder. Squeeze glutes and then right back down. Okie dokie. We've got, now, if that's too easy for you, you can come down to your elbow and get ready to knees and then go all the way to the feet, right? The angle's a little more acute here, so it's gonna be a little more difficult than up here, but at the same time, there's more balance required up here, so I guess it's kind of a double-edged sword. You decide which one you want to do. We got eight seconds. Let's get a few reps in. You pick which style is right for you. Two, one, hips down, swing it over to the other side, and once again, start elbows and knees. I'm sorry, I didn't show you that last time. This is gonna be the easiest one. Elbows and knees, not elbows and hands or uh, knees and hands, excuse me. So this is your base level, and you guys should already be going. We're 20 seconds in. This is next level from the hand, opening up the shoulder. Then if you want to bring it back down to the el uh, elbow and the feet, let me turn this way so you can see me a little better. Ugh. We've got a side plank. Then add, rotate underneath, reach to the sky. Rotate underneath. Reach to the sky, open that chest up, rotate underneath, reach to the sky. If you want to add that hip dip, so we're slowly adding these components. The only thing that I want you to worry about is doing what's appropriate for your level of fitness. Okie dokie, 10, 15, 20 seconds, no, no, actually we're already done. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. Okie dokie, personal favorite coming up next, skydiver. So how do we transition? from seated on our behind to seated uh, or to laying on our stomach, okay? Oh, you're gonna roll around, you're gonna lay back, you're gonna roll over, there you go. Easiest thing in the world to do, right? Okay, so a skydiver, 
this movement I have a love-hate relationship with. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, you go ahead and start. I'm going to start your clock right now. You're going to start with your thumb straight up in the air, okay? You're going to... All right, I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see what's going on. You're going to uh, thumb straight up in the air, and I want you to look down. Hopefully the audio is still good with my, uh, with my face down here. I'll tweak it out a little bit in post-production. But what you're going to do, gang, is you're going to squeeze up with the shoulders, through the shoulders, and the glutes. And watch my thumbs. They're going to go out, 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 around, 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 up, and back towards the hips. And see how wide my feet are now? They're going to start to come back in only when... My hands, which I'm reaching out as far as possible, oh, when my hands return to neutral, stay engaged. Bring it out, 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 and in. Squeeze the muscles of the back of the shoulders. Don't let your shoulders roll forward like this. Common mistake. Pull those shoulder blades back. Bring it up, 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 up. And it doesn't matter. You can hold this the whole time. It doesn't matter how... Um, uh, how many reps you do. Like if you're active and you're doing this the entire time, good for you. You're still active that same amount of time as the people who have been going since I said go because you know what skydivers are. Okay, boom, that's that set. So now we've got a push-up variation. Don't freak out if uh, you can't do a push-up or you've never done a push-up or it's been since like 1962 since you've done a push-up. What I want you to do is learn how to do this kind of push-up with me. Now, if you've got your push-up game on point, then freaking go. Just pump them out. But we're going to take the time to teach you how to do it right here in the garage. So, here's what's up. If you know how to do push-ups, go. Time has just started. If not, hang out with me. Hands are going to be right here at your chest, right? And I'm going to turn a little bit so you can see, see how I'm going to segment my body. Shoulders, hips, knees, everything. So I'm going to big breath, tight, and as I come up, I'm going to push that air out. And I'm pushing chest, and oh, my hips want to come up, and oh, now my knees want to come up. And bringing the knees off the ground when your main, the main mass of your body is already up, not too bad. What I will ask is that you wrap your elbows around behind. Wrap those elbows. Don't be pushing up like this. That's all I ask, okay? So wrap those elbows around behind, and when you drop, you're dropping down, down, down as one strong person. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So here's what we go. If you've been pushing up, you've been doing it for almost a minute, now you gotta do it a little bit longer, sorry. So big breath, forearms are basically straight up and down, shoulders and ears hate each other. Get those thighs away from one another. Nice long spine, just listen to my voice for this one instead of cocking your head towards the screen. Big breath, and we're going to shoulders, hips, Knees, lower back down. We're gonna do that four more times. Big breath, shoulders, hips, knees. Lower back down. This might feel weird, big breath. Shoulder, hip, knees, bring it right back down. Two more. It's gonna feel weird in your shoulders because guess what, in your chest, you've probably never pushed like this. Shoulders, hips, knees. Bring it right back down, last one. I can tell you, friends, this is the most efficient way to push something, right? You're pushing the ground away. You're doing a push-up. You're doing an earth down. You're doing a whatever you want to call it. Last time, down, 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 boom. That's how you do it. If you think about it, have you ever seen, I mean, I'm sure you've seen someone push someone off of something before, like, hey, get off me, bro. Do they push like that or do they push like this? Like you see people doing people doing push-ups or bench press out here. This is how you push. This is where you produce power from with your shoulders down and your elbows closer to the body. Cool? Cool. All right. So now we've got flying squirrel. So how do you get from your push-up variation to flying squirrel? Exact same way you got into push-up variation. Roll it over. Kick it around. Oh man, you're gonna hate this one. <laughs> so, first and foremost, let's show variations. If you know what flying squirrel is, here's what the whole thing looks like. You're a sugar glider, you're a flying squirrel, you're a whatever you wanna call it. You're finding your balance, you're gonna, you're gonna sight a tree over there and you're gonna jump to it. Oh, you're gonna glide, 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 bigger, bigger glide. Boom, catch that tree. So, that's if you're up to that and you don't want any explanation, you get to go right now. Everybody else, here's what I want you to focus on. 
Nice straight back, straight spine. Grabbing the knees, all I want you to do is focus on balance, okay? That's phase one. If you wanna stay at phase one, that's fine. Phase two, get good at releasing one hand and one leg and feeling the difference between what happens on your, at your pelvis, at your low back, as you extend away from the mid, uh, the, act, the mid, you, your guts, your actual skeleton, and uh, bring it back in. Then I want you to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now, this is effective in itself. It might be all that you need if you're just joining us. So I invite you to do that if that's all you need. Now you other flying squirrelers, you should be flying high right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now change the components of the, uh, the movement and I want you to release with left hand, but keep that left foot there, release with right hand and extend out. So we've got a contralateral balance right now. Oh, that feels weird. Now this is just if you're moving up to doing a full flying squirrel, right? Um, now let's release the left leg, extend and release the right arm. Oh, contralateral balancing sucks and bring everything together. Now, if you've got all that down and you feel pretty good and you guys have been doing flying squirrels, bear with me. Um, it's been a little while. We're gonna five together. Just release and clamp down. Just release and clamp down. Now just release, extend back a little bit more. Clamp back down. Just release, extend back, clamp back down. Doing great, doing great. Let's get three more. Clamp back down, two more. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Clamp back down one more time. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, and clamp back down, perfect. So those are, oh, excuse me, those are flying squirrels. Okay, so those are our five movements. We took a lot of time going through what you should do, how you should do it, um, and most, most importantly is finding the variation that works for you. Um, so now that you've got those down, I'll go ahead and demo more, but we're gonna, we're gonna step to the top of the order um, and we're gonna run through that again. Before we do, what I would love for you all to do is um, please practice an upward facing dog. That can be a lot on the hip flexors, that last movement, the flying squirrel. And what you're going to, um, this will counteract that. So here's what we're gonna do. It's like doing your push up kind of, uh, but not coming up all the way. So hips are gonna be tight, glutes are gonna be tight. You're gonna take a big deep breath and push up, up, push that chest, uh, torso, head, up and away from the ground. We're squeezing your butt so that you stay planted on the ground and you're stretching here, right? Re uh, rectus abdominis, um, transverse abdominis, hip flexors a bit, uh, and bring it right back down. If that's too much, put your hands out even farther and right back down, okay? Upward facing dog. Okie dokie, so let's flip back over, whoop, log roll, uh, sit it up. And we're back to our bridges. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer in five, four, three, two, whichever variation you want. One, and here's your base. Shoulder blades down and back. Just go ahead and start bridging. Gripping into the ground, uh, pelvic floor on, tailbone up, 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 and then lower back down one at a time. Now, if you want to take it up to your elbows and get more range and stretch those shoulders, that's gonna be more on the hamstrings and it's gonna limit your range just a tad. If you wanna bring it up to the, uh, what do you call those, hands, grip in, up, 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 up into a tabletop. This is one of my personal favorites because it stretches. I'm opening up my shoulders and my biceps and my chest while I do this. So I'm gonna stick with this one and I might throw in a few single leg variations while I keep my, uh, I'm gonna do five on my left and then I'm gonna do five on my right. I'm gonna check the time. Yep, we're doing good, about 15 more seconds. Well, I'm gonna go until I get my five. Four and five, and I'm switching. One, two, make sure you find that variation that works for you, that's the most important part. Four and five. Perfect, okie dokie. Yeah, let's do five more on each side. You know what, that's a pretty pretty important one. Um, the, the, the bridge variation, whichever one it is, it's glutes, it's hamstrings, it's pelvic floor. And with all the sitting everybody does this day and age, guess what, boys and girls? This one counteracts that uh, position by 
firing up that posterior chain. That's why this is so flipping hard, is because it targets those muscles that are, uh, well, off when you go, when you, uh, when, you, when you have a seat, push, push, push. When you have a seat, the glutes go on vacation, the hamstrings don't do much, and then we get up and we try to exercise, and, um, and our body's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't in college anymore. You ain't in grad school anymore. You're freaking a parent, or you're, I don't know, maybe you are in college and you're watching this, whatever, but um, this is gonna lay the groundwork so you don't have any injuries later, so your injuries are less later. One more time. Uh, the point is, work your glutes, work your posterior chain. Okie dokie, so, uh, bridges are done, we got Swayze's next. So, Patrick Swayze used to be called uh, ballerina side plank with a hip dip, but I got sick of writing all that. Um, and uh, wondered what, uh, what, what uh, that would be in, in the masculine, and I just, you know, Patrick Swayze. Um, so that's where that came from. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna bring that shoulder, open it, come up to that side plank, and if you're doing full Swayze's, bring it down, rotate, and right back up, add that hip dip. Rotate, right back up, hip dip. Now, if you need variations, keep going on that, please. If you need variations on that, uh, here's, what, here's where you're gonna start, right? From the knees, pushing into the ground, squeezing those glutes. Your hips are gonna to wanna to come back, don't let that happen. Keep your hips engaged and bring it right back down. Hips up, you can add that ballerina underneath and then add a hip dip from here and you've got a, a fully modified Patrick Swayze, totally fine. I'm gonna stay here for another 10, nine, oh no I'm not, I'm gonna stay for 20 seconds because my right side's overactive and my left side is underactive Therefore, I'm going to go easier on my right side and I'm going to really crank it up on my left side to promote balance in the system, to promote homeostasis in the system. Five, four, three, two, uh, one more, one, uh, and boom. Love it. All right, how do we switch from the other side? That side to the other side, just like that. Yeah. My cough is really good this morning. Okay, so. As I mentioned, I've got some imbalances I'm trying to rid myself of, so I'm gonna go harder on this side. You do whatever you gotta do, okay? Three, two, one. You got any, any uh, questions about the variations or the possibilities or what the hell we're doing and why, feel free to DM, feel free to comment, and, um, and I'll get to those questions. Love answering questions about this stuff because it's productive and you get more out of it. So, there you go, 22 seconds in. That's a weird number to call it on, but hey, you know, whatever. 30 seconds in, that's halfway. All core, body garage, core control. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Okay, now we got a push up variation, kiddos. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I said good morning late. Sorry, that was rude of me. Um, push up variations. Okie dokie. Uh, so, make sure I'm in shot here. Yep, we're good. So, we're going to warm up, or if you're just going to do push ups, like regular old, just kind of crank them out. That's fine, right? Or you can do them how we just showed you. Shoulders, go ahead and start, please. I hit, I hit time. Shoulders, hips, knees. Bring it right back down. I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit because it feels better. Shoulders, hips, knees. Lower yourself down as one. If that's too much for you, shoulders, hips, knees. Knees, hips, shoulders, okay? We're moving slow and methodical through our push-ups today. Urgh. Shoulders, hips, knees. Knees, hips, shoulders. Shoulders, hips, knees. Lower down. Full, um, full body. We got 15 seconds left. Just keep those shoulders away from your ears, please. Urgh. That will help to correct or promote pro proper posture as well when you're Seated and clicking away at your keyboards later, or now, or whatever you're doing. Five, four, three, two, one more. 
Rah, beautiful. Okie dokie. So you can sit back and cross those legs and sit back however you want to get to it. It's flying squirrel time, people. So I think, actually, I'll stay right here in this light. That's kind of nice. So here we go. We'll find our balance. If you got, if, if this is your, if this is where you want to be, then that's fine, right? And you've got your contralateral release, contralateral release. I'm gonna start time right now. Siri, you're killing me. We're flying out. Bring it right back in. Flying out. Bring it right back in. Fly it out. Bring it right back in. Fly it out. Right back in. Bring it right back in. Fly it out. Bring it right back in. Nice tall spine. Try not to curl your spine too, too much. Fly it out. Bring it right back in. Oh, it's just halfway. I looked at the watch too soon. I looked at the watch too soon. I'm a bad person. Flying it out. Bring it right back in. Remember, this is not about speed. Go nice and slow, please. And right back in. Bring it out, 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 out. And right back in. Bring it out, 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 out. And right back in. We got two more to go. Just one and two. Bring it out, 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 out. Right back in. One more time. Out, 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 out. Right back in. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what we need right about now. That's two rounds down. We need a coffee break. How's everybody doing this morning? Say hello in the end. Good morning, Zakaya. Good morning, Yev. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Steve. I think people leave when I do that. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> All right, last round. Let's bridge it out, okay? So, no surprises here. Oh, last round you gotta do. Three, two, one. Grip in with the toes. Hips go up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Remember, not about speed. I think I just said that, but I'm gonna say it again. Down, 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 down. One vertebrae at a time. I'm gonna go up to tabletop because I love tabletop bridges. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go to single leg and right back up. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, 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 down. Right back up. Down, down, down. Right back up. I'm gonna do five more, then I'm gonna switch. One, down, 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 down. See, I'm also keeping my hips. Uh, uh, they're not pitching off to the side, though that actually does feel pretty productive on a personal injury that I have. So now I think I'm gonna do that one actually. <laughs> for four, for three, for two, for one. Uh, right side, I'm just going 10. How's our time? Oh yeah, we're good, we'll get a quick 10 here. And my right side is much stronger, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna rep this out. I'm not gonna take the time to angle my hips at some specific um, range that I feel like I need for rehab because my right side's, you know, knock on wood, it's it's uh it's all good. That rhyme did not mean for that to rhyme. Five, four, three, two, one. Dude, I forgot skydivers last time. We gotta do them. We gotta do them. I went from Swayze to push-ups. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. So let's get to our skydivers. Uh, second round of this, we're gonna do skydivers, Swayze's, more skydivers than uh, the rest. Three, two, one. Thumbs are up. Flare everything up. Rotate around, around, around. I completely spaced this one last round. That is my bad. We're gonna get it in now. Shoulder blades back. And I want you to keep moving at the very end of your range, like you are. One of my good friends, he uses the, the term like you're trying to scrape out the inside of a jar, right? That, that joint range is can be pushed to the edge. And I want you to get all the peanut butter out of the jar or chocolate or Nutella. Nutella, what? That's what you're getting out of that jar. Ugh. Glutes tight. I've kind of, I've been focusing on my shoulders so much. I've, my glutes have fallen by the wayside. And I'm going to refocus on those, adding them in with... My shoulders, how we doing? We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! All right. Swayze's. I'm going to start on my left side because that's what I want to do. 
Glad that one's done. It's not done, but glad that feels really good on the shoulders, I think. Three, two, one. Left side's down, bring those hips up. This is full on Patrick Swayze, right? If you want to regress it and do, do it from your knees, it looks like this. Hips in extension, rotate and dip. I'm going full Swayze uh, because of that imbalance I always mention. Always searching to optimize, searching to get better, right? Get better at performing, get better at learning, get better at providing, get better at listening, get better at caring, get better at loving, get better at, at well, not hating, but <laughs> just get, becoming a better person. Uh, guess what? We got 20 seconds, my peoples. Uh, 20 seconds left on this side. Uh, this is the last side on the left that we'll be doing Patrick Swayze's this morning. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, oh, ha, 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 bring it around. Now on the right side, my personal needs are of the effect uh, where I'm gonna do this from the knees. If you don't have what I have, which you probably don't because you're not me, just go full Swayze. I'm keeping my hips engaged, go ahead and start. Hips engaged, bring it underneath, up to the sky, dip it down. Make sure this shoulder stays pulled back even when you're rotating down and right back up. Rotate down, full extension with those hips, dip at the top if you want. The important thing here is that you do it well, you challenge yourself, and you do it um, um, to the level of, of your ability, which I think is kind of the same thing. So we'll just take one of those off. <clears throat> oh, keep the hips in extension, that's what I meant to say. Hips in extension, because if you start winking back, then you lose a lot of the um, potential that this has to help correct you. We got 12 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booyah! Bring it back. Last set, last set of skydivers, I know. We're out of order, but that's okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kick it up. Ugh. Dive it, dive it, dive it, skydive it. And right back around. You get bonus points for keeping your limbs off the ground the entire time. Bring it right back together, thumbs up. Rotate around, rotate around, rotate around, rotate around. Bring it right back together. Uh, remember, scrape that jar. Shoulder blades back. Flex those muscles. Flex everything. And the reason you're flexing is to create uh, evenly distributed tension around your joints. It's not just to look cool. It can be to look cool if you want to, but um, this is for uh, to create a balanced load around each of your joints. I'm gonna check the clock at the top of this one. That's why we flex through this movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, man, that feels good when you do it right. I mean, it, it hurts, but it sucks to do, but you know. Okay, we've got two left, two minutes of work. Push-up variation and flying squirrels. So, here we go, three, two, one. Push it up, lower it back down. 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 Push, push. Push, push, push. Coming up on halfway. Twenty seconds. squirrels. Ah. Okie dokie, last minute, here we go. On the tailbone, almost there. 
on the tailbone, glide it out, bring it right back in, glide it out, bring it right back in, glide it out, bring it right back in. If you want to get crazy and go across the way, that's totally fine. Get crazy, go across the way, that's totally fine. Glide it out, as long as you're keeping that spine relatively straight, you are good to go, my friends, good to go. <sighs> bring it out, 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 out. <sighs> and right back in. Bring it out, 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 out. Right back in. Bring it out, 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 out. <clears throat> right back together. Bring it out, 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 out. We got 20 seconds left. And right back together. Bring it back, 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 back. Oh, right back together. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, uh, one. Beautiful.